In the APEC region, uh, the problem of sexually transmitted diseases appears to be a large problem, but surveillance and testing is not carried out quite so regularly as it is in higher income countries uh, of North America and Western Europe. Underdiagnosis of STIs leads to increased transmission to others and increased complications. With more testing, the average duration of an infection becomes less, giving it less opportunity to cause complications and sequelae. Here in the Asia Pacific, Asia, a large portion of the world's population lives. So there are more people who can experience these problems. In addition, in certain parts of the Asia Pacific area, access to antibiotics is not well controlled. As a result, a person who thinks that they may have a problem could take an antibiotic, but they may not take the right dose or the right duration. All of these problems lead to underdosing of antibiotics for treatment, and as a result, favor the development of resistance. This problem comes from two different sources. The first is that the gonorrhea bacteria has periodically developed resistance to every antibiotic used to treat it. The other problem contributing to this threat to health is that new drugs are not being developed at the same rate as they had been in the past so that while the process of antibiotic resistance goes on in much the way that it always has, the problem is that we now have fewer alternatives to treat our patients with. The single most important thing that a person can do to reduce their risk for sexually transmitted infections is to communicate well with sexual partners and to pursue regular sexual health checkups this includes testing for sexually transmitted diseases that patients may not know that they have. Many sexually transmitted infections are asymptomatic, and so they will only be found by testing. 